<laughs> oh my god. I'm dying. Help me. Hello everybody, I'm the Real Potato Gamer. Welcome to 8 Millimeters. I'm very much hoping that this video won't be bad. I saw this on Game Drill for free and I was like, heck yeah, all about that. August 15th, 2022, six years before, did that say invasion? Hey! Okay, calm down. Hey, are you there? Am I the filmmaker? Oh. Sorry. Every time I see you, your head's up in the clouds. Maybe you should be an astronaut when you grow up. The girl you just heard was my older sister, Anna. We used to play with toy guns outside the house back when I was a kid. I was 12 years old at the time, and she was 18. We saved money for weeks just to buy these toy guns. We used to start gunfights every day. Seems a little morbid. Now come on, look at me. Do you want to fight or no? Okay. Aha! Back to Earth you go. Now to business. Anna coughed and tried to imitate a cliche burly action hero. After all these years, I finally found you. In response, I tried to sound like a man who's been smoking non-stop since he was roughly six years old. Ah! Impassable! <coughs> yes! You are the demon who killed my father! I hope you're ready to die! Never! Burn in hell! Wait, what? You just said I was a demon. I already live in hell. Shut up and fight! Oh! 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 Do, do I have health or am I just... But I reacted quickly and defeated her. Alright, alright, you win. Time out. Uh, I mean... <clears throat> well then, wretched demon, it seems you are more capable than I thought. And if I'm honest... You weren't too bad, either. <clears throat> I'll get you next time, though. When hell freezes over. I'm turning into Batman. It's happening to me. Our gunfights were only childish fantasy, a duel between siblings who grew up on action flicks and video games. But no more than a decade after this fake fight, we exchanged our fake firearms for real ones and fought valiantly for our survival. Neat. Whoa. Buddy, you, you okay up there? Is this music copywritten? What's happening? What What's going on? Oh, I'm in a tr- How are they outrunning a truck? I'm confused. What? What's going on? What did my life become? Oh, we crashed. Oh no, friend, can I take your sniper rifle? What's happening? Am I carrying my buddy? This is an awkward way to hold someone just outstretched. Oh no. How do I... The flower. Was that... Was that my sister? I managed to survive, luckily, and now, 20 years later, I am on a journey to document the experience of people like Anna, who fought for humanity's survival. Oh yeah, it's not hard to contact Anna's squad mates. It's hard to find people who wanted to speak about their experiences. After much effort, one fighter said he was willing to tell me his story. The next day, I met him in a small, deserted apartment in what used to be the Bronx. Alright. Is it recording? Uh, yeah. Let's go. First, I'd like to thank you, Mr... I don't know how to pronounce that name. Cecile, for being the first person who decided to go on camera with his invasion story. 
Oh, it's... What voice did I just give him? Oh, it's nothing, really. I think more invasion vets need to tell their tales. I'm glad you think so. Come to think about it, you sounded pretty enthusiastic over the phone. Why was that? Ah! Guess I had a bit too much fun. Fun? Yeah. I hate to admit it, but fighting was actually pretty fun. I put my guns here into good use. I annihilated absurd amounts of aliens and just ran around feeling like an action hero. Oh, I get to choose my response. Interesting. Hmm. I feel I want to say this, but I feel like if I do, it'll end the conversation on a bad note. Did you fear death at any point? Initially, yes, but after ambushing my first few aliens and got and got used to my firearms, it was actually quite liberating. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. At first, you're in constant fear you're going to fall and get hurt, but after a while, you get used to it. An alien invasion has much higher stakes than a bicycle accident. Of course, of course. I was just giving an analogy here. In any case, what did you do during the invasion? How did you survive? When the invasion started, I ran to the beach at night. On foot? On foot. Why did you go to the beach, of all places? I figured there must be a rescue ship or navy presence there. I figured there was... Oh. And if there weren't, I could always hijack a lifeguard boat. In retrospect, it wasn't the smartest plan, but it was I managed to shoot my way to the beach. But it was, as expected, it was slowing my families. I needed to kill all of them before reaching the... Oh, okay. Since the beach was pretty open, I pulled out my silenced pistol and wondered if I could kill aliens unnoticed. But I brought my shotgun with me in case things run amok. Oh. Very interesting. Alright, forget the silent stuff. was a little more intense than I. After I killed every alien in sight, I saw a light shining in the water. Oh, oh, there's the water. Oh, there we go. It was a body, and that person was... I'm sorry. I can't. What? Just turn off the camera. I remembered something I forgot. He began to weep. Hmm. I also lost someone important to me. Who did you lose? My sister. Then I guess I shouldn't have told you I had fun. It's fine. So now after I told you all that, can you please turn the camera off and leave? I need some time to myself. Alright. Turned off the camera and respected Cecile's request. He asked me to stay until he calms down. He was grateful that I shared my sister's death with him. Claimed it comforted him. He emphasized how important it is to tell your war stories and thanked me many times over for reminding him of his father's death. Mm. He then directed me to a childhood friend he once knew who moved to Israel a few years ago. She gave her consent to be interviewed and I caught the first flight to Tel Aviv. Oh, this is interesting. I'm like, okay. Right, we're recording. I said to Cecile, and I'm saying it to you too. Thank you so much for meeting me and talking about what you went through. No problem. Everyone likes a good war story. How do you know Cecile? Childhood friends from a while back. My family... Then my family became religious, decided to live in the Jewish homeland, and we moved to Tel Aviv. I still remain somewhat secular, though. Why are you wearing a military outfit? 
That's my Earth Defense Force outfit. I thought it'd be nice to wear it for the interview. Hmm. I feel like bringing up my sister's death would be not so good right away. But maybe if she, it brings up something to her, it won't end the interview right away like the last one, so let's do that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What did she do in the Earth Defense Force? Sniper, American Division. My deepest condolences. I've lost many friends, too, to the war. Anyway, let me get, give you some context. Since Israel is always prepped for war, troops were deployed quickly, but the aliens were too strong. The IDF quickly began taking heavy losses. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Israel eventually had to collaborate with the Philistines, Palestinians, to protect the area. After the Earth Defense Force was formed, the Israel-Palestinian Army military joined the EDF and eventually cleared the region with their help. While this was going on, I was hiding somewhere in the base in the Negev, the southern region of Israel. I was stationed there at the time. I don't know how long I stayed there, but there was no way to keep time. I emerged from the gunfire stopped. Oh my goodness. So many dead comrades. After society, <coughs> pardon me. After society got back on his feet, I got a hold of the sail and told them what I saw. Those people were my friends, my comrades, my squad mates. I told him. And I just went into hiding and did nothing. When he heard that he told me his story, he ran to the beach and found his father in the water. I hung up. I couldn't take it. I never talked to him since. Well, not until now. <clears throat> That's becoming too hard to do. At first, I used to go to the funerals, but then I just kind of stopped. Felt like it was my fault they died. I distanced myself from the families. Funny, you got here in the, in this day in particular. Hmm, how come? It's Memorial Day for fallen soldiers. And any moment now, the entire state of Israel will take a moment of silence and those who protected it. Come on, stand up. The sirens will go off soon. Yeah, sure, I'll be respectful.